Hello and welcome back to the animated conversation. I will start off with a spoiler alert. Today's short episode will not be a happy one. I do not apologize for this as I believe this needs to be said. With all that out of the way, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Bruce and I am the host of the animated conversation show called Who's on my couch, which will be premiering very soon in fact. I wanted to address a situation which I found to be totally disgusting and apparent behavior from some so-called England fans. Normally at this point, whoever is hosting would cut to the intro scene and then speak about the sponsors of the show. As this is such an important issue that needs raising, we are just going to go straight into it. England recently played in the final of the Euro 2020 football tournament, a tournament that showcases the best of the best in European talent. A team they lost against you ask? Italy? What's wrong in losing? Nothing. So why do people feel the need to vilify, racially abuse and torment people who tried their best to represent their country in this tournament? For those of you who do not know what I am talking about, let me fill you in real quick. The football match had ended in regulation time at one all. During the extra time period there were no other goals scored by either side so the game inevitably went to penalties. The five penalty takers were, in order, Harry Kane, Harry Maguire, Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho, and a 19-year-old Buke Osaka. So, both the Harry scored their penalties, the other three missed theirs. As soon as the penalties had ended, before the presentation ceremony had even begun, the players who missed were all getting racial abuse on social media. Please tell me how is this behavior justified? You all spent so much time celebrating the fact Marcus Rashford was able to secure free school meals during the school holidays, you then turn on him the moment he misses a penalty in a football match. Why? This makes no sense at all. Then you abuse a 19-year-old who had taken his very first professional penalty. You can't expect him to carry all this responsibility and then vilify him for missing it. What would the parents of these trolls think of their behavior? I would love for one of the parents to come online and defend their actions. These trolls should be jailed for what they have done. So where do we go from here? How do we deal with all these disgusting trolls who incite this behavior and others? I for one think that whosoever engages in racial abuse should get put into prison for a very long time. There needs to be a precedent. There needs to be a prison sentence long enough for people to think twice about getting involved in this sort of thing. What do you think? Am I right for wanting these disgusting human beings jailed for this behavior? Is their behavior justifiable? What would you want done with them? Can they even be caught? Comment below. I would love to see what you all think. Maybe we can even get people who have the correct connections to take notice and help make a change. I sincerely hope that people can find these pathetic excuses for human beings and throw the book at them by putting them away for as long as possible. I do not see what the color of a person's skin has to do with missing a penalty in a football match. Why should they be tormented to such vile hatred for making a mistake? Until next time, where I hope we meet in happier circumstances. I'm Bruce, signing off. Stay safe and look out for each other. Help each other. More importantly respect and love each other. Goodbye.